Hello, Facebook friends, and welcome to the Gallery of Art, another wonderful exhibition. Um, this is the show, Do You Know Her?, of the artist and colleague here at Temple Rome, Catherine Krizik. And it is the exhibition which completes um, the work that she's been doing on a, on a um, PHA grant. Yeah, President's from, Humanity Award grant. From Temple University. And it is a, an accompaniment to a conference, a symposium that we're mm -hmm. hosting starting tomorrow on women and ritual acts. So the exhibition fits in perfectly with the theme of the, uh, of the, uh, of the conference, of the speakers, of the mm -hmm. panelists. Um, exactly. And it is a, an exhibition which you can see, it's actually very splendid. <laughs> almost, I would almost like to use the word splash exhibition. It's wonderful, you walk into the gallery and as, you're, as the audience is going to see soon now, um, wonderful, explosive, color and amount of work and very, very beautiful show. I compliment you on, you. Sure. On, uh, on, on the work. And as the audience will start to see, it's a work about women, it's portraiture. Mm -hmm. And Catherine, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you're doing here? Well, the, really the main goal is to shine a light on the accomplishments of women. Um, there, there are many people that I really feel general society, the public should know the names of. And, and they don't, you know. Cecilia Payne, who discovered what stars were made of, or um, Hazel Scott, who had the was the first person of color who had a TV show ever in the 50s. So there, it, it's an effort to give me a chance to do something I love, which is to make portraits, and also share it with the public, uh, because each, each, each portrait has um, a small bibliography and a couple of resources on the website that I made for the project. In fact, as I, I don't want to interrupt you now, but mm -hmm. the website is mm -hmm. um, actually the ongoing uh, actual work in progress. Absolutely. And if I can also point out here, um, the website is here, do you know her.org, and then there's a the QR code also, because Absolutely. as we walk into the exhibition, as you're speaking to us, we see the women, but we don't see all the information exactly. that you're going to be talking about. Um, so it actually completes itself as uh, you, you can know, find a, a out project. who they are. <laughs> we can find out who they are. And you said another interesting thing. Now, if I just want to interrupt you, you, were, you, these are portraits we see, and you were saying that you love to make portraits. And I remember when we were doing the studio visit, mm -hmm. you told me that you'd been doing portraits uh, already since you know you were a very young girl. Yeah, I mean, it was really one of my my first loves, um, first jobs, first satisfaction. I really find it fascinating to, to, to look at a person's face. It tells so much, tells a story, and uh, I still love it. You still love it, we can see that. How many, how many women have you photographed so actually, far? No, how many works I have you made? made? I've, made I've made 35, actually. And actually, it's, it's, it was really a lot of work not to make more, because I'm, I'm, I've got a list of over 100 that I'm you do. interested. You do, and, and it's an ongoing list, so. It's an yeah. ongoing list that keeps growing yeah, keeps daily. Growing. Nearly. How? Um, I, all different ways. I, it could happen, I go to a movie, I see a director, I see a, you know, a, a topic, I read a newspaper article, I read some um, of those uh, obituaries of people who, were, who should have been recognized in their time and weren't, in the New York Times, for example. Um, just basically daily life. Now that this topic is on my radar, I see it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I see people who need to be recognized all the time. And um, so I decided to do something about it. Yeah, no, it's very wonderful. Do you want to lead us in this room to somebody who, who's outstanding in your mind? Maybe one of the oh. figures that you identify with the most or, there's, or? Oh man, there's so many. This wall has a lot of uh, environmentalists. I mean, this, for example, this is Vandana Shiva and she's Indian and she's working tremendously for food justice and seed sovereignty in India. So she's really working to fight hunger. Um, Liao Xiaoyi is, is Chinese, and she's actually a filmmaker and also working with, with the environment and Global Village. Marina Silva was an environmentalist, and she's, in, she's Brazilian. And you know, during her, she's also, she became a politician in order to help conserve the rain, rainforest. Right. Um, I mean, everybody here is, is really amazing. So very pertinent topics, but also the topic of women is so, is so now, I mean, I know it, it sounds kind of banal to say yes, women, but the Venice Biennale, for example, has just inaugurated with practically an entire uh, 
uh, selection of, of only women, I think a very mm -hmm. small, small percentage. So you're really doing an investigation that is you know, timely for the topic mm -hmm. and timely also for the situation, the, the, the issues that these women mm -hmm. have been dealing with. This one is particularly beautiful, the ballerina. Uh, this is uh, yeah. Maria Talchief, and she is American Indian ballerina. She was actually partnered with uh, George Balanchine, and everybody knows George Balanchine, but very few people have heard of Maria Talchief. Right. Um, she's an unbelievable dancer. You can still see her. Her, uh, perform her, you know, mm. we can't, you know, she's she's not with us any longer. No, but You can see I, on YouTube no, yes, and see just like yeah. how excellent she was. Um, but she also, she then became a teacher. One other theme that is, you'll find common in, in a lot of these people, they do more than one thing well. So it's not like they just, okay, they only did that and concentrated their whole lives on that. No, they all did a lot. And almost all of them, nearly all of them are also teachers, right. which I think, you know, considering where we are in Temple right. University in Gallery fact, in fact, is really appropriate. In fact, it makes us all feel very wonderful. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're giving back. Getting back. So we'll walk into the other room as well and then maybe come back here. But sure. I would like the audience also to be uh, noticing uh, when I said explosion of color. Um, so, Catherine, yes, they are portraits. Um, but Catherine's also a colorist, I might say, if I were looking at it from a curatorial or from a critical point of uh -huh. view. If we go That's into the cool. next room where the pieces are a little bit bigger, um, arranged a little more, a little more uh, you know, distant one from the other so that. You can actually focus on each one more mm -hmm. carefully as opposed to almost a kind of narrative running list in the first one, which is wonderful, right? right. We have this. Well, I just really want to say how many I did, and it's only a small fraction of yeah. what there is to do. Exactly, yeah, but it's like turning the pages, yeah. right? Page after page. Whereas here you're focusing a bit more on, yeah. on the portrait. Can you talk a little bit about what, you know, what led you to think about how you would seat the, compos the, you know, the, seat of the composition, uh -huh. uh, the color choices, I, I and really, then of course the technique. In I, I really love your comment on the color because I really feel like this, uh, this project has allowed me to do things with color that I, I never ever would have dreamed of. Mm -hmm. um, how I make the things, I make them painting, drawing, photograph them, put them in Photoshop, and then I can play, and then I can do all kinds of different things with the color right. that I, n I never ever would have experimented with. So, you know, the, the hard part is, to, is then choosing, you know, which is, which is the most definitive one. So the color in some way suggests the person, the sitter, is it something that, that you, oh, it, 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 you it's feel mixed. spontaneously? I, mean, it, I, I would say more spontaneous mm -hmm. than anything else. Or instinctive. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for example, the Catherine Dunham, this was, I also have to work from something, right? So I, I sometimes use clips from videos of people right. or, you know, common usage, you know, photos. And sometimes they're black and white, in which I'm totally free <laughs> to do anything I want with the color. Right. But other times I wanted to give it kind of a theatrical feel, like you're in the theater and you have those kind of lights. And so, uh, you know, I wanted it to be warm. Um, how does it feel for you to be sitting at your computer in front of a film or something? And you said there's over a hundred women that you've been working on, or, or characters that you've been working on, people you've been working on. Um, how does it? What 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 happens to you? You become you get involved in their life. You you think about the amazing accomplishments they've done. Yeah. That you walk around your life and things that they have done have touched you as well. I mean. To be honest, when I began the project, I, I, part of it was also to kind of like pick myself up a little bit. Um, I had just um, completed some sculptures of female climbers, and I had to change studios, and I was like, well, what, what can I do that I'm, that I'm interested in, which is also when I decided to go back to portraiture. Um, but also, I don't know, you, everyone has moments they're a little bit low, right? So I was like, well, who? Who should I be looking at? You know, who might have some wisdom to share yeah. or some insight? And so I wanted to look at women for this. Um, if I if I also kind of blur a little bit with my kind of teaching life, uh, I was preparing some presentations, and it happened to be for Women's Day, March eighth, and I realized that I didn't have any women in my presentation. They were all a kind of classic. Renaissance men that you always see, or you know, mixed, and I'm like, my God, of course, this is wrong. Of course, <laughs> but you rightly said we're learning more and more about this. That you know, various 
vehicles that you've used have been focusing right. more and more on women distinguished for one reason or another. Yeah. Um, and the arrangement in, in this room, then what, you know, one, what, one might also think that there's a, a certain harmony that you think about. So do you think about them from a, a color Me point of view? Me and my curator. <laughs> you and your curator. Thought about oh, it a lot. No, we did think about <laughs> we it a lot. Did. Yes, we but, did. But, so what, what that audience knows, if they've come to a few of our, of our talks, is that from my point of view, the work of art sits on the floor, randomly placed, and then knows where to go. So it's got its little feet, and it puts itself exactly where it's supposed to be. There's not a single work, I think, in an exhibition that we've done here that really ought to have been someplace else. Do you feel that Absolutely. way here, too? Do you feel that somehow the little feet put themselves where they should be? I, I, I think so. They um, speak to each other in a way. They're not, they're not chronologically related no. to each other. They're not geographically related to each other. No, I mean, in, in the end, it's a little bit of a free composition in terms of color what, and more color than technique, size, direction. I think also a lot about the direction that the people are, yeah. are looking at, and yeah. I try to have them look at each other in a well, way. For example, here we have the same uh, yes. figure twice, right? Yeah, this is the yeah. only figure who is the, the same person twice, you know, in, in two different time periods and two different uh, moods, for sure. Um, this is Nazrin Sudute. And she's an Iranian lawyer who's in jail. Yes. As we speak, there's, you know, Amnesty International has a huge petition online. Um, go sign up for her to try to get her out. She was um, put in jail for helping women divorce, um, and also to help uh, women not be not go to jail for not wearing the hijab. Mm -hmm. So those are like her two main things. She also she helped children as well. But um, you know, she, she could have left, she stayed in Iran and she worked. And this is a, a happier moment, you know, out of jail. She's like l looking positive and she's, and this is a little bit of effect of, of jail on her. But it's also like a, a, a beautifully, mm, I don't know, not quite worn face, but like a, a marked face. I mean, she's got, there's another beauty here, I think, mm -hmm. that I see in her that um, I, I really enjoy, and I hope, I hope that she'll get out soon. You know? Yeah, well, I think yeah, we've all signed the petition and, 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 and so on. And then in some of the works, you've paired um, figures. Yeah, Is exactly. that an earlier yeah, yeah. iteration I mean, of the I, project? I moved from sometimes, like for example, there I've got uh, Nora Zeal Hurston and Margaret Mead that I worked on at the same time. There's some similar themes because they were both anthropologists and interested in sociology, and so. I, I try to make them now in kind of groups, kind of friends, in a way. Right. They, they, they don't necessarily know each other. Right. Although, um, <laughs> these two do know each other. Yeah. This, this is uh, Nan Fu Wang and Yi Haiyan. And so this was, uh, I, I started to research uh, Nan Fu Wang, who's a prominent director now, actually. She, she, she is quite famous for changing the idea of documentaries by including herself in the process of the documentary. Uh, but she's, she won an Oscar, it's like a one child nation. And this is the protagonist from one of her other films, um, Hooligan Sparrow. And so Yi Haiyan is a, another woman's activist in, in China. And she was actually working to kind of have health protections and police protection for sex workers actually. Right. Uh, but she's also fighting on a number of different levels. All, you know, again, always in and out of jail. Right. right. And uh, they have they have a special relationship. You know, also director, subject. You know, I think I wanted to play with that relationship. So these are two that know each other. These are two that don't necessarily know each other, though. I don't know that they didn't meet at some point. Um, this is Neri Oxman, who's Israeli. She's uh, an architect, but she's also a PhD doctor in biology, and she's inventing new materials that biodegrade and that grow themselves, so structures that grow themselves. And she works at MIT um, and also in, in Israel. And this instead is Zaha Hadid, who's no longer with us, unfortunately, but um, a bigger female icon for architecture I can't think of. So and in I, fact, for Rome, the builder, the designer absolutely. of our so, Somebody Museum, that we, we know intimately. We know very well, in fact. Uh, yeah. And I put them both on the background of uh, a facade, the only thing left from Plautilla Bricci, who was an architect. And a woman. And a woman, yeah. when you weren't supposed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and so, they, you know, in the end, there's 
three architects present in the, yeah. in the same piece. Yeah, yeah. Um, in a certain sense, the pairing almost changes the narrative. You put people mm -hmm. together who somehow, as you said, could dialogue with each other. Maybe they did know each other, maybe they didn't, but you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting. It raises the question. Um, yeah. It raises the question, yeah. Another uh, question that one might have is that um, as an exhibition, it's, it, you know, here it is and our students will enjoy it and the public tomorrow when it opens and so on, it stays up then for the rest of the month. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for people to visit. Um, but how do you feel that maybe the website or, or, or some other intervention you might do might in fact bring everything to a greater level of, of attention? I, I don't think an exhibition can free somebody from, a, from, no, a, you know, from a prison, but it can certainly move one step further towards having an audience become aware of, of, of certain things, both in the good, mm -hmm. in, in the sense of an architect who built something and, and, and so on, and then obviously also in the, in the bad, in the sense of women who are clearly uh, you know, downtrodden and badly treated. Um, well, so my question is, how do you envision this possibly being carried to a, a humanitarian level, let's say? Um, well, sharing it with other humanitarian, people? Actually, humanitarian eventually. But immediately, um, there is the information available you know, on, on the website. So you can actually search for women of science or of the right. arts and, uh, or, you know, political women, and you can say, well, who, who should I know? You know? Right. Who's there? Uh, I'm hoping um, to, to kind of grow public. I mean, this is, is really, uh, it, it's, not, it's not a conclusion. No, it's, it's, it's the a debut. Begin, it's, it's a beginning. beginning. It's absolutely. a beginning, absolutely. It, it opens tomorrow, literally. Right. <laughs> yes. No, but it's the, the I, I see the you know the work on the website as ongoing and like a yeah. work in progress and, and also a collection. I mean, I know that you like to talk about collections and you're interested in that, right. but I think um, I think that collection of you know particular people is is interesting and, and something that kind of sparks conversation. It does, and in fact, saying the word conversation, this can also perhaps or are you in some way accommodating conversations, people perhaps writing comments, making you aware of their thoughts, other thoughts, eventually maybe even reaching, I don't know exactly you know, who could be reached, but reaching well, some of these Yeah, people. I mean, eventually, okay, again, this is future plans to see if I, if, I can, if I can manage, but I would not even mind doing interviews. You know, there, there's right. so many possibilities. Of course. I mean, but the main thing is, you know, I, I don't think as an artist, if you're not working also through the internet, you're not going to you're yeah. going to have a much smaller public, let's say, yeah, than otherwise. Well, this is actually a very so. wonderful way of using technology and the internet. I mean, the internet you need to, to distribute your, right. your 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 ideas, certainly website and so on. But this is all. I I I, I hope the audience understands that this is all done through digital mediums. Right. So it is a very creative way of thinking about how to use a digital medium as well as you know various other mm -hmm. art artistic processes. Um, and then we come to. The video, which is actually getting back again to the fact that you're a teacher, uh, a video that you made, as I understand, uh, with the with our with, the, with one of our colleagues. The this this was a full collaboration video um, with students from uh, Bruno Montefusco's class, with the help of Antonio Curioso, and um, the idea was, along with the image and the biography, on the website you find also some selected quotes uh -huh. from the women. And so what they're doing is they're reading quotes, right. you know, from, from these different women right. that I feel like, that they actually chose. You know, part of the process oh, of filming nice. them, they had some choices and they're like, no, I want this one, I want that one. And so they, they were really very interactive very nice. in, in choosing yeah. which one that they wanted to no, it's very, portray. It's a, great, it's a great video and it will, it'll be now uh, screened in full so the audience can, can, can enjoy it from the beginning to the end. Catherine, thank you so much. This has really been thank wonderful, you. and uh, we look forward to the ongoing project. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Shara. And, and thank you for your help. You were really wonderful all, all along the way, organization, and, well, we and asking me the right questions. Yeah. I don't mean here. I mean just like in general when we would yeah. meet, and so I'm really grateful for that. Well, that's very sweet. We're all very, very happy to work together. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody, and Bye -bye. we'll see you soon. Come to the show. <laughs> well, you going to get
We need to turn the question around to look at the harasser, not the target. We need to be sure that we can go out and look anyone who is a victim of harassment in the eye and say, you do not have to be silent anymore. Anita Hill. Children must be taught how to think, not what to think. Margaret Mead. The reward of the young scientist is the emotional thrill of being the first person in the history of the world to see something or to understand something. Cecilia Payton. We weren't pushing black is beautiful. We just showed it. Catherine Dunham. Man's attitude toward nature is today critically important simply because we have now acquired a fateful power to alter and destroy nature. But man is a part of nature and his war against nature is inevitably a war against himself. Rachel Carson. The least I can do is speak out for those who cannot speak out for themselves. The greatest danger to our future is apathy. Jane Goodall. I believe that if you just do your little bit without thinking of the bigness of what you stand against, if you turn to the enlargement of your own capacities, just that itself creates new potential. Vandana Shiva. When you share love, compassion, and wisdom, you provide humanity with an indestructible base for living in peace and harmony. Sakina Yakubi. I've known the joy and pain of friendship. I have served and been served. I've made some good enemies for which I'm not a bit sorry. I've loved unselfishly. And I've fondled hatred with the red hot tongs of hell. That's living. Zora Neale Hurston. When somebody tells me I cannot do something, that's when I do it. Gertrude Ederly.